Hey, hey guys, this is Ashley with What the Blog Gaming. I'm actually in Fredericksburg tonight with Sage and Cody, and we're actually going to be interviewing Sage Hello. tonight. How are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so I do have a few questions for Sage. We want you guys to get to know him a little better, because he is going to be hosting the regionals this Sunday. Alright? Um, so the first question I do have for you is, what made you decide to open up a game store? Well, I've always had a love for games, and ever since I was a kid, I remember playing Pong, and my uncle bringing home the uh, Atari 2600. So it just started with that, and just grew with the Nintendo and everything else that came after. Hey, okay, you know what? Games, I, mean, I love playing video games. Actually, I used to play a lot when I was younger. Yeah. So I, I honestly, I like having a game store that's close to home. And I believe my dad and brother are going to start coming a little more often. Sweet. Well, more the merrier. Yeah. Um, how long ago was it that you first opened up Sage? I'm just gaming them. Well, I've been in business in April. It'll be nine years. Nice. Yeah. Uh, how many locations have you had? This is my second location, but I've never had both at the same time. Okay. My other location, the lease ran out about three years ago, and then I opened that here. So. Nice. And it's a good location, too. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is a great spot. Yeah. Um, what about owning a game store? Like, what brings you the most happiness or the most joy when you see a customer walk through that door, especially when it, when it's a little kid? You know, what brings you the most joy with owning the store? Well, with the older clients, you know, the ones that are in the probably late twenties to early forties, we share the same nostalgia. We all remember what it was like when we played the older systems and where we were and the old TVs we, you know, that we were able to play on. Yeah. Um, with the kids, they don't quite have the same nostalgia, but we still get to share the gaming experiences and I can see their excitement that they have. Yeah. So that's how I connect with, with some of the younger clients as well. Yeah. So I noticed you do have a bit of a tournament tonight. Uh, what, we do. What, what game are, you what are they playing? They're playing Smash for the Wii U. Nice. Yeah, every okay. Friday night we do it. Nice. Um, and you also have Pokemon here as well? We do. Yeah, we do it every Thursday. Okay. So we have Pokemon and then various online gaming and console gaming, right? That's right. And also Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. You gotta remember that, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, big into Yu-Gi-Oh. Wednesdays, <laughs> Saturdays, and Sundays. And have you had good turnouts the last few weeks? Oh, we have. Yeah. Right. How have the Wednesday tournaments been going? Because I know that's a new thing for you right now. Uh, they've been going great. The biggest turnout so far for a Wednesday was about three weeks ago. We had 27 people. Nice. That is awesome. Yeah, 6 p.m. Wednesday night. That's not a bad turnout. It's not. Definitely not. Um, do you hope to be able to host more OTS and regionals on Facebook? I do. Um, I want to do a couple more regionals. And then the plan is to uh, shoot to start doing a YCS. At least the planning for it may be to end the thing. You hear that, guys? Yeah, YCS. YCS. It won't be in Fredericksburg, but my guess it'll probably be in the D.C. area because I have to be fairly close to an airport. So, that actually sounds like a lot of awesomeness. <laughs> yes, it takes about a year, from what I've heard, once we know where we want to be, it's about a year planning out after that. So. Okay, so definitely be looking out for, you know, more announcements for regionals, especially in this area and then also the YCS later next year for probably the DC area. Um, how did your wife feel when you guys first started talking about, or when you first opened up the game store? Um, she was all about it. She's been nothing but supportive of me the entire time. Um, if it makes me happy, she's happy. Um, and about a year ago, she actually started working with me full time doing you know online that sales. That is so. awesome. Yeah. I've actually met her myself. I love the woman. I really do. I and do she too. And, I, we, <laughs> <laughs> and she and I actually talk quite a bit sometimes as well. Yeah. Um, what is the biggest market age right now? Like the biggest group that comes in the most? Like what age group? That's what I mean. That. Well, that's that's tough to answer. It's such a it's such a variety. I'd say anywhere between the ages of twelve to forty five. Are my are the majority of the, of the customers that come in, and I do get younger and I do get older, but that's yeah. that's probably the, the the biggest core. So, about how many people are you hoping for at this regional? Am I hoping for? Yeah. Or do I expect to get? 
Uh, okay. I'm hoping to get 400 plus. I'm expecting 300 ish. And how many did we have at the last regionals? How many did we have? Yeah. Um, I think it was 220. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, are you hoping for a bit more of a diversity as far as age of this one, or maybe more female players? Um, yeah, I mean, we like to get more female players and a lot, a lot more younger clientele. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. 95% yeah. of the players are going to be guys, and they're going to yeah. be, you know, 14, 15 to 25. So yeah. it's been that way for a while. I don't see that, that automatically changing in one event. So Yeah. I mean, I know at the last regionals, I did notice I came in late because I had to work, unfortunately. Um, I did see quite a few females, and I was actually really shocked. Yeah. Was. Um, but definitely, ladies, don't be afraid. If you like to play Yu Gi Oh!, show up. Believe it or not, I still play occasionally. <laughs> and I actually managed to get this Sunday off, so oh, I'm good. excited about Fantastic. that. Um, how do you feel about the event actually being live streamed? Oh, I've. Ever since I was able to host my first regionals, that was an idea that I had, and I thought it would have been fantastic because I've been to video game tournaments, mm -hmm. and they live stream pretty much everything there. So it allows people that can't get to the event to watch the event, and yeah. just like in video games, players have our fans. You know, they have certain players that they follow. They watch how they build decks, how they play with those decks. So with the ability to live stream, it allows people that can't make it yeah. watch their favorite players. So yeah, I'm all about it. I think it's fantastic. That is awesome. Um, we did get a shout out on Asian Nine's YouTube page. We did do a shout out for us, and he's still trying to figure out how we got permission to do this. <laughs> but I do believe it has to do with working with the head judge as well, yeah. and just not getting in his way. <laughs> um, but I definitely think it's going to be a good turnout, and we will be running this throughout the. Uh, tournament as well. And this is the first one that we're live streaming, right? Because the yes. last one was just recording. Yeah, uh, we'll actually Sweet. be doing um, double feature matches. Excellent. We're going to be doing the first round, it's going to be just two completely random. Um, probably about the third round, we're actually going to do from the top ten and then okay. some just a random table. Um, it gives a bit more diversity with the decks and it also helps to avoid having repeat players. We did actually have uh, one guy do it twice last year, and that's what we were at the last one. But that's what we're going to try to avoid this time. Okay. So we'll have roughly 48 players up at the tables this time. Very nice. Um, I like. Yeah. I like. But I do want to give a shout out to the rest of the What the Blog Gaming crew. Um, most of them will not be able to make it this time. We do have our biggest tech guy right now, Cody. Say hi. Um, John and Alex, Nathan and Patrick will be there as well. So, again, Sashley with the Blog Gaming and Sage, our Sage Ventures Game Haven. Hope to see you all there.